Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Fantasy Cow Radia. Now, when we left off, we had just taken Tyr and defended it from the Nords, of course, and then we were going to move on to Curin Castle and Sargoth, and maybe indeed Ribule Castle and Praven, of course, that will take quite a bit of time because I believe Sargoth is rather well defended. Now, as you could see, as we loaded in here, we have seen quite a few Nord vassals attempting to siege Telrog Castle. Now, there's a very good reason why they are attempting to do this, and that is because a majority of our vassals are continuing to get taken prisoner, so I can only assume that is due to the fact that I made them vassals maybe a little bit too early, and they are, well, let's just say low level, and I'm not able to speak to them and increase their skills. I was able to speak to Lady Matteld, and unfortunately there is no option to increase her skills, so perhaps that may be added in in a future version, who knows? I do not know about any of the development processes of Fantasy Car Radio, but I do know that there is an upgrade coming soon, or at least that is what I've been led to believe. So, here we are at Telrog, and we are going to be heading in and waiting for some time, and oh, it appears that they are just scattering. Okay, that is a little bit strange, because I was waiting for some time before I started the recording, and they were all pleasantly staying right next to us here, so they were prepared for the slaughter, of course, of their units, but it appears that they have thwarted my plans this time around, so that's a little bit unfortunate, I must admit. I was looking forward to that, because then we could have the option of taking a huge amount of them prisoner, but it appears that I will have to make my way to Sargoth anyway. So let us take a look at how many vassals are actually stationed here. And there's not actually that many. I thought there would be a little bit more than that. Ah! But as you can see, in the prisoner's hold, we have Lord Furorin and Lady Matteld herself. And a couple of other units as well. Blazing Hand Infantry and quite a few Nord units. Of course, they are probably Lady Matteld's. And that reminds me, I did actually give her some units, and again, she got taken prisoner. That is very strange indeed, because I believe before I gave her some pretty high-level Drow units, and this time around I gave her some relatively high-tier Calradian units, and still she was taken prisoner, so, hmm, it appears that I'm a little bit disappointed in her abilities at the moment, but I suppose that is what happens when they are outnumbered. Oh my goodness, no! It appears that we are mistreating some villagers, and they petition King Yeroglek for protection. Ah, that is unfortunate. The Kingdom of Vagiers can now have an easier time of going to war against us, which is not necessarily too fun, because they do have some pretty reasonable archers, to say the least. Oh my, that is not going to be too pleasant. Maybe I should have launched a preemptive strike. Of course, we are at war with two factions already at the moment, so, hmm. I have a feeling that that would not be too good, and it appears that the defenders are now rallying outside to hopefully thwart our efforts at building our ladders, and this is a very short space in which to fight, isn't it? This is not good, okay. Come on. Let's try and take some out with our lightning bolts. Now, I have not had enough time, unfortunately, to be able to wander around to try and find these knights and a couple of other units that one of you told me about in the comments. I would really like to be able to gain that additional armor, but as you know, we are being besieged quite a lot, and I think what I will attempt to do, at least, is... <laughs> yes, uh, no. Is run around off-screen once we have taken out the Nords and maybe even the Dwarves, because one of you did have a great suggestion, and I couldn't find your comment for the life of me, but I believe that you stated that it would be a wonderful idea to unite the North, I suppose? And that is actually something I am hoping to do, of course, and maybe if the Vagiers decide to wade in and indeed try to take us on, then we are maybe going to have that chance. So there we are, we have gained 45 morale, that is rather nice. We do have to build our ladders again, though, which is a little unfortunate, I must admit. I'm hoping that one of the Nord vassals will not see fit to interrupt us now, because, as you saw, Arcane is a little bit lower in health than we would like. Oh, there's a 43 strong vessel there. I am going to be waiting here for some time, just in case. Oh no, that is not something we want to deal with right there. As you could see, three Nord vassals 
heading straight for us, and I suppose now we are going to be leading our soldiers in an assault. Because even though I am incredibly low, I should be able to survive long enough to take this. And then we will be able to defend from the walls, or at least that is my hope. So let us try to do such a thing. Now, I do need to be a little bit cautious here, because of course I am low in HP, and it would be absolutely terrible to get taken out this early. And, oh no, I'm just seeing these archers, and I am completely cringing right here, because I do not want to get taken out yet again. Okay, come on. Oh, I really need to level up my faith skill. I believe I need three in it to gain the heal spell, so... ah. Uh, Something like that would be wonderful. Have we already killed all of them? No, it appears we've already cleared the way, which is rather impressive, to say the least. Not entirely sure how we did that so fast, but... Of course, we do have a huge amount of archers, and as we know, Nord units are not exactly... Well, let's just say very defensive against magic. And that reminds me. One of you did state that we should increase Ymira's magic defense. Because as you stated in the comment, she is rather useless if she gets taken out immediately by the enemy mages. And that is a very good point, so I will do my very best to get healed. Oh yes, there we are, very nice, thank you. That was one of our Blazing Hand infantry, I believe. But yes, as I was saying, I will do my very best to level up Yamira in the magic defensive properties that she requires to stay alive. And, ah, I think we may actually want to use our magic a little bit here, maybe assist our units, and... Oh, no! Do I actually kill our own units? I don't think so. No, it would say, you've killed the friendly troop, and so forth. Surely. Okay, I hope not, at least, otherwise I am completely destroying all of our units right here, but I don't think so, somehow. Or am I? Maybe if I hit them straight on, maybe it does do damage to nearby units. Wow, I've never known that before. Okay, well, that's something, I suppose, that is good to know. And there we are, we seem to have taken out everyone. I would like to take a look at how many units were taken out. Well, we only lost eight. Hmm. Okay, well, <laughs> hopefully I didn't take out anyone. Oh my goodness. Okay, so, this is where we get to take a lot of people prisoner. Oh, look at that, 20 renown was gained in that last battle. Very nice indeed. We have freed Lord Fruorin, thank goodness. And, of course, we have freed Lady Matteld. So that is wonderful as well. Hopefully they will be able to gain quite a bit of renown fighting some skirmishes around the land and maybe increase their army sizes. Because even though I am able to give them a huge amount of, well, units, they don't really use it too well. And oh my goodness, look at this guy. This is one of the high level dro units, dro infantry. So yes, hopefully, oh wait, why is it archers? Okay, we need to change that, I think. Let's make that infantry, yes. Okay, well, nevertheless, let us take some greater mercenary mages, I suppose, and I would like to take some dwarven units. They are always good. Bandit mages, of course, they become dark mages, and what else do we want here? Nord shaman? Uh, unfortunately, I would like to use Nord units, but unfortunately, of course, we are at war with them, so we will not be able to use them for fear of morale issues, but... Now that I say that, we do have five spaces, so even if I do take four, yes, let's take four of them, why not? We may as well, that's not going to affect our morale too much, I hope, and then we will just level up a couple of our other units right there. So, one space for our additional skeleton and zombie forces, of course, and then we can move on. So, there we are, let us move on here, oh wow, look at that, journeyman robe, 2,000 to sell that, oh my goodness, that is wonderful, okay. Very good. Okay, so there we are. We're done at Sargoth. We have taken it without too many issues whatsoever. And of course, the enemy vassals are going to launch a counterattack, I believe. And that actually reminds me. I believe we probably want to give Lady Matteld a castle, because that might be the reason why she has a smaller army force. Hmm. Well, I am going to be deferring appointment of a lord, just so Sargoth can be garrisoned very... Minor, I suppose, with very minor forces. And, ooh, very nice. Blazing Hand Inquisitor. We got a Bear Warrior. And some more Blazing Hand Infantry as well. Let's go for... What do we want here? Do we want a Crossbow Dwarf? Or do we want a Musket Dwarf? Or an Arquebus? Yes, usually I avoid saying that word, because I'm 
pretty terrible, but <laughs> uh, maybe that would be quite nice to have a gunner. Hmm, I think that would be cool. So yes, that will join Moraga in the firing line, I hope. And now Aiden has leveled up. So let us increase his strength a little bit. I believe it is about time that we do that. And as a result, we'll level up his trainer as well. I'm sure he's going to be gaining a lot more experience very soon. And Kriona has leveled up as well. So let's get her some more strength too. And then we will make her absolutely impressive on the battlefield by increasing her athletics. She's going to be able to run very fast indeed, which is going to hopefully help us out in terms of chasing down people, because if our cavalry are not necessarily up to the job at some points, then Kriona will have the honor of doing that. Now, can we buy anything here that is worthwhile? Charm is always wonderful, but yes, of course, we already have that. Okay, well, let's just sell the loot here that we currently have, and then we will prepare to host the <laughs> inevitable siege that these Nord vassals will launch against us. I will just buy a little bit of food, and then we will head on. Yes, there we are. Okay, so let's wait here for some time. 113 skeletons joined us, which is absolutely incredible. Very nice indeed. And we will be placing them in the garrison here to help our fellows here, lesser mercenary mages and so forth. And now, I think this might be a good idea to head on to Curran Castle, perhaps. That might be an idea. Hmm. I'm actually wondering, should I place any of our units in the garrison here? Probably not. Okay. That should be fine. Now, one of you did mention quite a while ago, and I did not get round to it, unfortunately, because we had all of the drama with the Delthusum Empire and whether or not to leave it. And that is, what does a ship do? Well, a ship allows you to garrison it with a certain amount of troops to prevent it from being raided by sea raiders, of course, and then you're able to do naval battles, which is rather cool. I believe we've seen naval battles beforehand, and they are relatively similar in this case. However, you would see a huge amount of magic being thrown off if it is indeed the same as the other naval battles. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't done one, and I'm not necessarily willing to spend 50,000 dinars yet. I will do it in the future, and maybe buy a couple of ships at our various towns, because they could get a trade going and maybe use that to gather a little bit more money for the kingdom to exist on, of course. And there we are. Okay, so before we head off, I will be waiting here for some time, and then we will head over to consolidate our lands ever more. However, Tyr has just been besieged by Jarl Remald, and I believe he is probably with a huge amount of Nord vassals, so... It appears that I will not be cutting away, and we will be instead heading over there as quickly as humanly possible, or as quickly as undeadly possible, yes, very strange sentence indeed, but nevertheless we will be heading over there, and hopefully not running into a huge amount of them. We only gained 2,000. Whoa. Yeah, that's not great, but I suppose it's better than actually suffering a loss, so yeah, not bad. Okay, so we have some deserters there. Okay, so as you can see, huge amounts of Nord vassals. Hopefully they will not see fit to engage upon us, and maybe we can get in there and prevent them from sieging it. Maybe it would be a good idea to do a field battle, because as you've seen... Yes, there we are, they're running off. Okay, so the biggest armies that we can currently see here are Jarl Nadar, Remald, and Bulba, by the looks of things. So I will be heading off to fight Jarl Nadar. And Spawn from Hell have come to bring death and destruction. That is wonderful, even though it does seem like a rather doom-inducing message. <laughs> it is rather nice, because hopefully we will be able to gain our wonderful magic-imbued armor. So, yes, let us take these guys out as efficiently as possible. They have 194, however, so this is going to be... Hmm. Not entirely sure. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So, let's take everyone over here. Let's get our mages on this hill. And I believe I will probably join them in unleashing hell upon them. And we will use our lightning bolts. So, let's just get all of our people at the front here. Who are those units? They're the Blazing Hand Inquisitors. Wow. Okay, I didn't know I had that many of them, but it appears I do. Okay, so, let's throw it. Lightning bolts. Am I going to kill anything? Oh, wow, I actually did some damage. That is rather... Remarkable. 
And now I will be charging in our infantry, and I will be charging in with them. Let us attempt to do some damage with our Vorpal Blade. Of course, it would help if some of our Blazing Hand infantry wouldn't... <laughs> run backwards for some reason. Not entirely sure why they're doing that, but nevertheless... Oh my goodness, a Dro Blade Master has started gaining a couple of kills right there, and I was hoping to do a thrusting attack against that fellow, and why is this mage running in? Not entirely sure why that is, but nevertheless, let us attempt to vanquish many of our enemies, and I'm hoping that the Vorpal Blade's crushing attack will actually help out a little bit here. Come on, take him out! Oh my goodness, no. Oh wow, I actually got healed. Did you see that? That was cool. Okay. Oh my, no! It appears that I'm missing all of the action here because, believe it or not, I just had a little bit of an interruption. I do apologize for that. And, oh, there we are. Took out that fellow. We saved our slave hunter from the wrath of a lesser mercenary mage's staff attack. Yes. That is exactly what it is. Come on. Oh, no. I have a feeling I'm going to die. Am I? Yes, I am. Of course. Wow, these Nord footmen, they are incredible. I really do need to get some of them in my army. As you saw previously, one of the Nord footmen was absolutely incredible. I believe it was a veteran Nord footman, and he was able to take out three of our units by himself. And yeah, I can only assume that that is going to be an absolutely worthwhile addition to our army composition once we have eliminated the Nords from the game, of course, so that we do not have any morale issues. And let's just take a look here. How many enemies do we have left? 21 enemies remain. And we have only lost seven of our own units, which is not bad at all. We should be able to gain back quite a few of those in skeletons and zombies, of course. Not our own units, but our enemies. And maybe we will be able to place those in tier to prevent it from being sieged once again. But there we are. That is a field battle. That usually is how it goes. I usually end up dead, but I will revive and resurrect myself, of course, because we are a necromancer. And, oh, it appears we'll be able to take both of them prisoner, which is rather surprising. Usually I'm not able to do such a thing. I will take the farmer, because even though I'm not necessarily too pleased with leveling up farmers and so forth, I will take it just to have in the garrison, perhaps. That might be nice. Okay, so what's going on here? Routed enemies? Okay, that's fine. And 39 zombies. Okay, that's not bad. That seems fine to me. And now... We will place them in the garrison, of course. And, oh, it appears these fellows leveled up. They actually become Calradian units. Oh, I had no idea. Okay, that's great. That seems fine, then. I will leave them in our army. That is going to help us out. More Blazing Hand infantry, some greater mercenary mages, and some dwarven paragons, of course. Very nice. So... As I was saying before, I will be cutting away now, and hopefully when we return, I will be able to siege Curran Castle and indeed take it.